So, this is Monaco Vulcan 1 System Test 3. Now, you may notice we're at a different setting today. Well, that's kind of because this is the only space I had available. Yeah, I know, it's not the best place to put a system like this, but hey, I gotta do what I gotta do to produce one of these videos. So, you may notice I still have a system trouble. Uh, this system trouble light right here that kind of indicates, you know, if there's a battery trouble or if there's a NAC trouble. It's all rolled into one light. So, the system trouble here is be the fact I don't have any batteries. Well, let's face it, this is really just a temporary setup, so that hasn't been too big of a priority for me. And I've had a few other few things, too, to worry about. So, yeah, you could probably figure it out. So, let's not dwell on that and move on with the test. For zone 1, I got a FCI, or KIDA, KIDA was the original manufacturer of this thing. It's a B5, it's one of these older coffin style pole stations. It's kind of like the BG6, but smaller. And it's got this flappy thing. And you might be looking over here, but I have a Gentex Commander 2. Now this is actually the older version. I think it's the version that came out like right after the Commander 1. And there are actually quite a bit of differences with this compared to a typical Commander 2 today. Now, as you may know, there's usually some kind of candela indication right here. Well, that's not present on this model. Let me just focus right here. It would normally be right over here with like a 15, 30, whatever. It's down here, the candela indication. This particular one is 110 candela. Now, let me pop this thing off so I can show you some stuff underneath here. Normally, the uh, candela indication switch would be right here. If it was a Commander 3, it would be the switch. If it was the Commander 2, I think it would be just a static number. And moving on over, normally you would have your dip switches over here for tone selection. But interestingly enough, that's actually on the back of the device. I might have shown this in the Fire Alarm Collection video, maybe not. But anyways, your dip switches are actually on the back of the device. And thirdly, there's only two types of tones that are available, the horn and the, uh, the tone. None of the uh, fancy whoop, chime, like on the Commander 3 I showed you. So, there's that. Let me just put this back on. Now, without further ado, let's get on with the test. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's lift and pull. That's the alarm. And this is going. Alright, let's silence that before my whole neighborhood goes nuts. That wasn't nice, but still. Alright, let's reset the B5. All right, that was easy. You know, doing it like this is a little bit easier, I think. Especially if you're doing things one-handed. And now we can reset it. Uh, let me just do that. Let's use the test switch. See, that's going. And we can reset it. Now I could do something interesting here. I could actually uh, sort of key activate this thing. I'm just gonna, whoops. So what I'm gonna do here is open up the pull station enough so I could, the switch can make a contact. So, like that. I barely need to open it for that. And once the pull station's just reset, like I've been talking about, I can just reset it like that. So, so I hope you enjoy Monaco Vulcan 1 System Test 3, and that'll be it. Thank you for watching.